Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna to be testing out a foundation that I personally have been really interested in and really excited to try. Today we're gonna to be testing the Minimalist Perfecting Complexion Stick by Merit Beauty. Now, this is the first Merit Beauty product that I am trying. I picked this up at Sephora over the weekend and I don't know what it is about this particular brand that has had my interest. Um, I don't know if it's the Instagram ads that I see, the packaging is beautiful, it's a clean at Sephora for a brand, um, so we're gonna give this a try. I don't know too much about it. Like I said, I was shopping at Sephora and this is one of the items I picked up. I actually picked up a few things and I will be sharing those right over here in a upcoming video. I might use some of them today. Um, but this product retailed, how much did I pay for it? I paid $38 for it and I got the shade Ochre. I did swatch several shades in store and this looked like it was the best option. I didn't actually test it on my skin in store. A few things about this product Product. I'm just gonna read directly from the box. It says it's not a foundation or a concealer, it is both. Use it only where you need it so you get compliments on your skin, not your makeup. Oh gosh, I love that. I just mentioned that in a video not too long ago about walking into a room and getting compliments on how great your skin looks, not how great your makeup looks. Okay, I kind of love that. A few things about this brand. It is clean, vegan, and cruelty-free. Uh, so yeah, when I swiped, this doesn't say anything about the finish of it. Let me get online real quickly and check what they say online. So according to Sephora, it is a lightweight, medium coverage complexion stick with a natural looking finish to replace the foundation and concealer in your makeup bag. So I will be using this as both today. I wasn't planning on doing that, but we will try that out today. It has a natural finish. It is fragrance-free, long wearing, clean at Sephora, and vegan, and it comes in at 20 shades. It also retails for $38. I believe I mentioned that, but in case I forgot, 38 shades, and I picked up the shade Ochre. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's very minimal, very chic, and uh, very modern. I really like the packaging. I think it's beautiful, even though it's very understated. It's a kind of graphite gray color with this really pretty simple gold foiled logo. It's very slim. It's not a chubby stick. I'm gonna show you in comparison to the Lancome stick, which I have here on my vanity, so you can compare the two. So it's a little bit slimmer in size. So the tip is actually a little bit smaller than other stick foundations. You know, let's actually compare it to the Lancome so I can show you guys. The Lancome stick is a larger, and I'm just grabbing Lancome because it's here, but I do feel like this is kind of the case with most stick foundations. Do you see how much larger this, the Lancome is than the Merit? But I actually like the idea of the Merit being a little bit smaller since they do say you can use it for concealer. This is a good size for concealer. If it had been much larger like the Lancome, it would be difficult to apply as concealer. Um, so that is it. On the side, you just kind of, on the bottom, you just roll it up. There's no applicator or anything. It has a very smooth, Oh, I like the way that that slides. It's so silly, it's just packaging, but there's something special about this packaging. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and apply it. Uh, I don't have any primer on my skin. I do have my um, Elastin Mineral Tinted SPF, um, and then my skincare, of course. But I'm gonna start in the center of my face, and I'm just going to create a few lines. Since the applicator is smaller, I'm gonna do a few more swipes than I normally would. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend this in before I go and apply it elsewhere, because I don't know how quickly this will set or dry, and I don't want it to dry too quickly before I get to blending. So I have very light pressure. I'm using the BK Beauty 106 brush. I have very light pressure and I'm just kind of spreading this across the face to blend out. Okay, so I brought you guys in a little closer so hopefully you can see the skin a little better. Okay, so the coverage, I would say that is pretty light coverage where we're at now. Okay, so this is with foundation, this is without. To me, the coverage looks very natural. I still see a few spots. Um, to be honest, I don't feel like it's much coverage. I wouldn't call this medium coverage at this point. I would call this very light coverage. Um, I'm gonna go and apply the other side and then I will go and layer and build. I'm gonna go ahead and just do the whole face because it feels pretty creamy. It feels like I have time to blend it out. To try and get a little more coverage, I'm gonna start just kind of pressing, stippling my brush versus what I did on this side, which was spread it out. That might be why I didn't get so much coverage the first time. So I'm just gonna go and kind of press. The great thing about this 106 brush is that even just pressing like this, it's going to blend it out. It's gonna do the work for you because the bristles are dense, but they're also soft, so they spread out and blend. Okay, yes, just a prime example of technique, you guys. I applied about the same amount over here and I got more coverage over here because of how I used my brush. First time I spread it out and you know moved it around, sheared it out. This time I'm just pressing. Yes, much more coverage. Can you guys tell? Same amount of foundation over here, just press the brush. 
versus sweeping. Now that I have coverage, I will go and kind of sweep out, you know, areas to blend, but okay. So I do need to add a little bit more on this side so that I get more coverage there. And I'm really just gonna kind of focus it right here. Just do a couple little swipes and press it into the skin. So I've blended out all the foundation. I haven't put any under my eyes yet, but this is where we are looking. This coverage is perfect. It's a nice, solid, medium coverage. The finish on this looks very um, natural. I would almost say it leans a little bit more natural matte than having any type of radiance or glow. It's really pretty. Um, it's beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit underneath my eyes and we'll see how this works as concealer. So I've just really concentrated there in the inner corner. I'm actually gonna take my finger, kind of spread it out. And I'm just gonna take the BK Beauty 108 once I've done most of the blending and just make sure I get every little area blended out. And this is how it looks underneath the eyes. Definitely not full coverage. I can still see, you know, a little bit of my darkness under the eyes, but it does a pretty darn good job underneath the eyes. It looks very natural too under the eyes. It doesn't look heavy at all. It's not magnifying texture. Concealer or underneath the eyes is one of those areas though that you really do have to wear it throughout the day to see how it wears because things change a lot underneath there as the day goes on. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. So I have the rest of my makeup on and the foundation is looking really, really lovely, you guys. I did set the center of the face and I just used what I had sitting on my desk, which was the Revlon Blurring Powder. I did wanna take note that even before applying the blurring powder, I felt like the foundation made my skin look really smooth and actually smoothed out the appearance of my pores and texture on my cheeks. So it is looking really, really nice. I do wanna point out that on my smile lines, there is a little bit of uh, settling and gathering of the foundation. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's nothing major, uh, very small, but we will see how that progresses throughout the day. I'm gonna go ahead and take a um, BK Beauty 108 brush and I'm gonna kind of blend that out. Now, you know, I'm not too concerned about that because any area of the face that you have where there's, you know, strong lines like I have around my smile lines that move around a lot, it's very likely that makeup will move and settle. Um, but what I really wanna see is how this works around the nose area. If this starts to settle throughout the day around the nose, then that's a different story, but I'm not too concerned with what I see right here. I'm just gonna kind of blot that. It might also be, you know, a result of me not fully blending it out right there. Um, but everything looks really good. I really like the way this foundation looks. It looks very, it looks like it has a very natural finish, but it's not so much of a natural makeup, if that makes sense. I think that it is versatile. You know, when I applied it on this side and I first sheared it out, the coverage was very light and natural. When I applied it on this side, and I didn't necessarily apply a lot more product, but I just used a different technique to blend it out, I got more coverage. So I do like that. I like that it's compact. It's a great product to travel with for that reason. It's also a great product, um, depending on how it wears throughout the day for a professional makeup artist because you need to pack a lot of different shades in your kit and this being small and compact makes it easy for that. So it's 11.45 a.m. I do have quite a bit going on today. Uh, the last part of my day involves being outside for a really quick photo shoot. It's very hot outside. I will do some check-ins throughout the day so we can see how this foundation wears. But as of right now, I'm gonna say that I really, really like this foundation, but we will see how it wears throughout the day. Hey everyone, so I've had the foundation on for a little over three hours. It's about 3 p.m. and I wanted to give you guys a little uh, check-in. So the foundation's looking really good. I did just spend about 20 minutes outside and it's probably 90 degrees outside. It's so hot. Um, I touched up with a little bit of powder just now and I looked at my skin. The skin is looking really good. It doesn't seem to be gathering or settling anywhere yet. It's still early in the day. I'm about to head out for a couple of errands and I'll check in in a few hours, but so far, so good. Hey everyone, it's 9.30 p.m. and we are doing our final check-in for the day. To uh, kind of recap my day since I saw you all last, I have spent quite a bit of time outside. Um, I spent about 30 minutes outside shortly after I filmed the beginning of this video. Um, right after that, I touched up with some powder and then I went on with my afternoon. I had a photo shoot outside that started around 5.30 p.m. and for that, I took the complexion stick and I added a little bit underneath my eyes because I did feel like some of it had worn off throughout the day. Uh, so I touched up with that and then I touched up my powder. That was about 5.30 and I haven't touched it since. I did spend about 45 minutes outside on that photo shoot and I haven't touched up since. So 
things are definitely looking like I am due for a touch up. I wanted to wait to do that so that I could film this and you guys could see how things look. There definitely is a pretty fair amount of shine on the face. Nothing too excessive, nothing that I wouldn't expect for the activity that I've done today and being outside. It actually looks pretty darn good. Um, underneath the eyes, when I kind of stretch my skin a bit, I do see it kind of settled in my eyes there. Do you guys see that? There is some settling in the fine lines underneath my eyes. Clearly you can see that. Um, if I take my finger and kind of rub it underneath it, you know, that kind of smooths it away, but it definitely does settle in my lines underneath my eyes. As far as the foundation, I mean, on the face, it looks really good. I still have, I would say, the, about the same coverage that I had when I first applied this at 11.45 this morning. I don't feel like the coverage has um, faded and it hasn't really moved or settled. Um, if I look in my smile lines, there is a tiny bit, but uh, not much at all. I honestly was expecting it to move a little more because if you remember when I first applied it this morning at 11.45, it immediately settled in my fine lines. I just kind of used a brush to um, you know, blend that in and I haven't had any other issues with it. It hasn't really settled around my nose. Everything there looks good. Aside from the shine, everything looks really good. So I'm gonna take a powder and we're gonna just touch this up and we're gonna see how fresh we can make it look. I'm taking the Laura Mercier Trans translucent powder in the shade Honey. And I'm just going to get a little bit of this on my BK Beauty 108 brush. I'm gonna kind of blot it on to the lid and we're just gonna go and press this all over the face. I do feel like I need an all over touch up because we're pretty shiny all over. Yeah, that pretty much touched it up and it looks fresh as, fresh as it did this morning. I mean, maybe not that fresh, but really good. I like this foundation, I do. I think it would probably would have worn even better had I not spent any time outside today. And I don't usually spend as much time as I did today. I don't spend that much time outside, um, you know, unless I'm not wearing any makeup and I'm exercising, but you know, <laughs> in the middle of summer or we're at the end of summer, but it still feels like the middle of summer. I'm just in and out of the car, the store, the car, the store, the house. I never spend time outside with this much makeup on like I did today. And even so, it still looks pretty good. I definitely like this foundation, I'm impressed. It's a great foundation, uh, great coverage, but not too heavy. It gives a nice, I would say, buildable up to medium coverage. The finish on it is pretty natural looking. It's not going to look matte. It's not going to look dewy or glowy. You can, of course, alter that depending on using, you know, glowy primer, dewy primer, or using a mattifying primer or a powder that'll adjust the finish. But I will definitely uh, use this foundation again. I'm very happy and I'm also happy with the color. I think the color is a perfect match for me. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, if you have tried this foundation, I would love to know your thoughts on it. Do you like it? Do you not like it? What type of skin do you have? How do you find that it best applies? Also, if you have another favorite stick foundation, will you leave that in the comment section below? I think we can learn a lot from each other, not just from my videos, but also learn from each other. So thank you guys so much for spending your time with me. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.